Thanks to our friends at The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com forward slash rive to receive the top 10 stocks to buy right now. If you're interested in the renewable energy industry and solar energy in particular, there are some great investment opportunities today. This is a much more mature industry than it was a decade ago when some of these stocks didn't perform very well. But I think there is a lot of prospect for growth, both on the top line and the bottom line in the future. There are three stocks that are leading the way. I want to tell you why I like all three. The first company to look at is First Solar. This is arguably the most mature company in the solar industry. They have differentiated product. They make a thin film solar panel as opposed to the crystalline solar panels that have basically become a commodity across the solar industry. Most of those panels are made in China or in Asia where they can get around some of the import tariffs that were put in place under the Trump administration. But First Solar has really focused most of its attention on the U.S. market. They've always had about half of their manufacturing capacity here in the U.S. and have been a big player here because they don't have to deal with some of those import restrictions. They've also typically had lower costs than a lot of their competitors, although they haven't been quite as efficient from a solar panel perspective, although that is getting better as well. What I really like about this company is that they're well positioned both with their technology and where they're building manufacturing in the U.S. They're going to benefit from some of the subsidies that are coming down the line. They just announced a new plant in Alabama, and you can see here that we're starting to see the impact on their financial statements. Right here is a projection of their growth. This is the year-end nameplate manufacturing capacity, 2022, 9.7 gigawatts. By 2024, so just two years from now, we're talking about 20 and a half gigawatts, all the way up to 20.7 gigawatts in 2026. So this is a company that is expected to grow and it's growing profitably. So let's look at the income statement. You can see in this chart here that revenue has been fairly steady. That's because they have not been growing manufacturing capacity over the last five or 10 years, but they have been very profitable and they do have a very high cash balance. So that's really different from a lot of manufacturing companies in the solar industry. They've always been a great operator, been able to generate cash. Now they're using some of that cash to expand. Now, First Solar is relatively expensive. It has a $17.5 billion market cap, but it does have over a billion dollars in cash on the balance sheet. As I showed earlier, we're expecting production capacity to double over the next couple of years. And this is a company that I think is gonna be taking advantage of their scale and their better operations than competitors over the next decade. That's why I like this stock and this company I think it's a long-term hold. There may be a little bit of volatility there, but this is clearly one of the leaders in the solar industry, and it's proven that for over 10 years. The second company to talk about is SunPower. This is a company that's gone through a lot of transitions over the last decade. It was really built on having high-efficiency solar panel manufacturing, but that was a really tough business to be in when you're competing with companies like First Solar that just fundamentally have lower costs. They also had a lot of residential operations, and that's what they've focused on over the last couple of years. They spun off their manufacturing business to Maxion. Uh, that's now a standalone public company. And the SunPower core business is really a technology company. They're taking products like the Maxion sol solar panels putting them into a package that then their dealer partners and some owned uh, installer operations can then install. And then they have digital quoting systems as well. So you can go on their website and get a quote and actually a mock-up of what a solar system would look like on your roof in about a minute. It's pretty simple. And that's the kind of technology that enables more people to go solar. They also have a financing piece, but what's interesting about SunPower versus a company like Sunrun is they're not taking that operational and financing risk on their balance sheet. What they're doing is that they're they're selling most of their systems with either cash or loan sales, and then the ones that they are financing with leases, they're selling to financing companies like Hannon Armstrong. So they have partners that are taking that financial risk so that they can focus on the operations. Now, if you look at their most recent quarter, the thing that we want to see growing here is adjusted EBITDA. So that's a proxy for the cash flow that's coming from the business. And you can see that adjusted EBITDA of $32.6 million is up from $26.3 million a year ago and over double what they had last quarter. Cash on hand is also almost $400 million. So that's a really strong result for a company that used to be mired in a ton of debt. Now, this is a company where you're betting on the future of residential solar. There are only a handful of leaders here, but I think SunPower is really well positioned to provide the kind of services and products 
that smaller operators need, and that's what they're going to be able to leverage to grow long term. That's why I am bullish on this company, despite all of the challenges that it's had over the last decade. I think they're in a much better strategic position today than they've been in a really long time. The final stock is more on the financing side of things, and that's Brookfield Renewable Partners. This is a company that buys solar assets that are already built. They have everything from residential solar up to massive solar farms. They also have wind assets and even some hydroelectric assets, but they're really growing on the solar side of things. This is a stock that has a dividend yield of over 4%. If you're in the US, you might want to look at BEPC is the ticker. That is structured more from they do it US dividend perspective, but there's BEP and BEPC are the two ticker symbols. And really what they're doing here is they're just buying assets that are going to generate revenue over the course of two, three, even four decades. And they're just they're just generating that revenue over time, paying some of that back to investors in the form of their dividend. I think this is a very safe business. Now, the stock may go up and down based on what interest rates are doing. That's one of the reasons that the stock has fallen recently, but that dividend yield then goes up as a result. As they buy more projects, they're going to be able to adjust the rate of return that they can demand. And so we're going to see a little bit of some fluctuations in their operations, but I think that they are going to see a higher rate of return on the assets they're, they're buying in the future just simply because interest rates are going up. But this is kind of a steady company buy it for the dividend yield, just set it and forget it. That 4% dividend yield will likely grow slowly but surely over time. And that's why I am bullish on this stock. What do you think about First Solar, Sun Power, and Brookfield Renewable Partners? Leave a comment in the comment section below. Follow the RIBE project. And of course, give this video a like. Thanks for watching and I'll see you here next time.